think the US influence is kind of vital. <laughs> I mean, if there's no US hip hop, there'd be fucking no Australian hip hop, full stop. We'd be playing like Slim Dusty style fucking, you know, fucking colonial music or some shit, you know. The music which was here before was, you know, changed or whatever. But um, obviously, yeah, I, I love American music. I, I think American music's great. Like, like, black American culture has probably put the most culture and influence in the modern world, hands down. There's nothing else which pay, like, even comes close to being in that arena, you know, from the way we dress, the way people talk, you know, our musical styles, you know, everything is just solely influenced from America. These days, I might not be liking as much as the stuff I used to like, but that influence still on popular mainstream culture is undeniable, you know? Obviously, hip hop to me, if you know your history about hip hop, it all began in the Bronx in New York, so, Ultimately, hip hop around the world would, without a doubt, is influenced by US hip hop. Um, I don't listen to much hip hop from the UK. That being said, um, I do enjoy artists like, you know, Your Roots Maneuver and that kind of thing. But yeah, I, I personally, I spend a lot more time listening to American artists. Um, I should listen to more UK hip hop. I'll get there. But at the moment, yeah, the Melbourne scene is very influenced by, um, I'd say, the US scene. But again, because we're very split in Melbourne amongst what we actually, you know, the hip hop scene in Melbourne is split. So you're going to have some people that um, are heavily influenced in rapping American accents, and then you're going to have the people that argue against rapping in American accents, and they rap in their Australian accents, and they're very pro Australia, right? Them too are obviously influenced by the US, that being said. It's hip hop. So hip hop did come from the States. So whether you like it or not, American accent or not, we are influenced by um, America. Yeah, but like indigenous tribe, watch your back 360 degrees when you're outside and never let the system take So you've got these artists that have got that traditional sound, but because of different influences that are coming through, uh, you'll have everything from a real traditional style laid out to a more contemporary pop electronic synthy style um, I'm not saying you know I don't want to sort sort of make people think that that's a bad thing I think diversity is the key you know to life and you'll have certain crews in Melbourne that you can you know see that their influence is a, a heavy UK kind of influence or a you know New York kind of influence but um there'll be certain artists that now have more of a a pop electronic kind of influence so i think maybe that kind of thing was always around even back in the early days but i think that the scene was so tight back in the late 90s or early 90s as well that if you diverted from that particular mold of what melbourne represented you never really got a lot of shine or acceptance so it was even more of a struggle to get heard or people just say you know straight up oh what you're doing is whack you're a sellout you're trying to be commercial and pop you won't last so i think what's changed as well is the whole industry's changed to sort of um accept that kind of stuff and and give it some space I smoke all the like like smoking joe fraser the hell ways up raising hell with the flavor terrorize the jam like troops in pakistan swinging through your town like your neighborhood spider-man so all tick tock keep ticking when i get to flipping over. a lot of aussie hip-hop hip-hop artists would claim those who rap in an american accent aren't true to the Australian hip hop culture but I think realistically when I was growing up I wasn't raised on hip hop from Australia I was raised on American hip hop and of course you're going to sound a bit similar to the people you used to admire and listen to a lot um, we didn't have 360 back in the day and we didn't have Hilltop Hoods back in the day, I think. Um, yeah, definitely I'd listen to a lot of their stuff if we did, but also in saying that I rap how I talk and I'm Aboriginal so my accent is still a little bit different from Aussie hip hop accent and at the end of the day, regardless of accent, I think it just 
going out there and expressing yourself and telling a story is probably the most important. There's no point fighting over the littlest thing when at the end of the day we all in it together and we all want the same thing coming from it. US definitely influenced like as I was saying with the whole 90s sound and that boom bap sound of hip hop. Um, definitely influenced Australian hip hop but I think in the last five years or so probably in the sort of mid to late 2000s I reckon it's influenced it in a different way. I think a lot of kids are really quite anti anything American. Um, not anything American, but what they sort of, the majority of what they hear from American, sort of the, the more commercial hip hop and that. Um, so it influenced a lot of people to, to sort of go against that and really sort of take pride in Aussie hip hop to the point where they're, pr it's probably to the point of ignorance, you know, because then they're generalizing American hip hop to be all a certain way. UK as well, I think, because like there's a lot of grimy kind of um, electronic glitch, that's the word, glitch beats sort of filtering into hip hop sounds and stuff here. Dubstep and glitch, pretty, pretty big these days. With a head full of fire and a belly full of hunger pain Uncontained rage takes hold till I'm numb again Clear the air like summer rain It's just another day seen through the eye of the hurricane Run away I think the most influence we got with the UK hip hop is the accent in that sense. We sound very <coughs> similar to the. If you analyse all the accents, I think the ours sounds the most similar to the UK in that sense. It's still different, but it sounds the most the most similar, I think, um, in some sort of ways. And in that way, we we can really relate to the English, you know, because we are, you know, Australia is a, a colony of them. So in that sense, you know, we can relate to their their style and their music and you know their grit and their their all that, you know which influenced us, I guess, with the music that they make, you know, even the, the dubstep or even the, the reggae or even what they call it, that um, grime, what's coming out now, the grime, that's really influenced a lot of the sound here, I think, you know, with, with a lot of the fellas in Melbourne, especially because there's a few cats here from the UK that have been making music for, for a few, for a long time now, you know, yeah. the Nine High fellas have been here for a while and I've seen their style going through big things, you know, like going from this, that sounds, it's good, you know, just the influences and the influence that they get from here, you know, from, from us and the sound that we create, you know. Fuck the world like it's the first piece of gas you had. Remember People have been listening to grime for years here. Our friends, everyone's been on it. And then a lot of people claim that they're just on this new amazing thing and they they say they do grime, but grime's actually a genre from UK. It's like you, you rap Australian but double time if you wanna sort of, you know, learn from that field. Because and then people are gonna say they're on this new thing, but really all they've been doing is tuning into other people overseas and you can't sort of bring it back to Melbourne and go, yeah, this is ours. You take your own approach to it. But then it's sort of don't you can't be claiming that you run grime or anything like that. I guess because it's like grimes to them. That's UK. They've started their own. Yeah, but when genre. I was listening to UK, it was like Task Force and it was yeah, hip hop. Yeah, that's it. That's it the raw hip, hip hop, and that's why it's it was two real. different things. It was a lot realer than uh, that's, yeah. the states. A and lot realer. Yeah, and that's more. the good thing. Grime MCs don't claim hip hop as well. Or even you get to the point that grime's taken over the UK to the point that a lot of the hip hoppers that are just doing hip hop, a lot of them seem to be coming here. Yeah, well, K Coke just got signed by Rockefeller. You could have just told, that was funny, like just as I'm saying, all these rappers from the UK seem to be coming here, knock on the door right from the UK rapper. Question up. Big up to the BTE fam, checkmate, got smug at mouth, yeah. <laughs> enough said. <laughs> Yeah, and UK hip hop, like you said, is relatable. And, um, that's probably the thing about it. That, yeah, Fair, it's yeah, it struck a chord with me more because it's. Why did Return late of the these, Drifter relate to these two? You could pretty mm. much pinpoint that to Return of the Drifter. I've got a six to on that Echo CD. It's that's like the that song changes. in here, man. When the booth in here was a shower, man, and I played that Echo CD that had Brad Strutt on it. And, Task Force mm, and Brain yeah. Tax, Three Amigos. Came with the Stealth magazine. Yeah, yeah so they had Return of the Drifter. I got it with an Echo shirt I bought or some shit, man. And it had Return of the Drifter on it. And I like, I remember putting that track on loop, man, in the shower in there and just mm. like, she was blowing my mind. Like, I never heard an MC like. It was the lyrics like, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, like, yeah, the whole everything. Up, I'm like, fuck yeah. it, I'm not. Like, I'm gonna be able to make some shit as good as this. Apart from necessary. When like asking a question like that, like US and UK, like, so you've got um, a dude like Mark Ronson. 
He's a hip hop producer. Like he produced fucking what was that track? Ooh, we like with Nate Dogg. Oh yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Like he's yeah. from the UK. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like he's a UK. You know, like he's a UK producer, but he's like you know doing shit in the US. So then it's like it's all relatable. So it's like it's he's do he did Daniel Merriweather's album. Like you know what I mean? Like um, uh, phrase and all that, and then. Mm -hmm. Like you know, this is like it's all like ill mind. It's cliche to you know say I mean? hip hop like, doesn't so have borders, like, but it does. Yeah, so it's so American hip hop is an American hip hop. Yeah, it's, it's just hip hop. It's, it's hip hop across. Yeah, it's, 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 it's hip hop across the board. Hot lip rosters of cruise shivering, spew penicillin on the groove in the booth and killing. If cats are sick, I'm a dosage of the AIDS cure. Art is in dire straits, losing by a great score. So either protect your net or let your game.